sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitchin'. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Okay, take a look. Good luck with... Well, whatever. You'll be talking to the underside of my boot if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. I'm looking for work. You hiring? I'm only looking to earn the going rate. Any vacancies on your crew? Trust me, you'd be getting a bargain. Why is that? Ah, uh, don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. You drive a hard bargain, but I'm on board. Do you have room for one more on your crew? I'm not asking for much. you're hiring, I could really use the work. No more than the average crew person's salary. Why is that? Uh, in my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. No, that's okay. I, uh, I think I got it. I hear you. I'll do it, but only because I really need the money. I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? I think you'll agree my rate is fair. Hello. I'm looking for work. You hiring? 
Trust me, you'd be getting a bargain. Why is that? Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Sounds fair. I'm in. I'm really not in the mood. I can't believe Donovan Reese is actually here in this bar. That guy is a legend. Word to the wise. Security here is run by Mercs. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. The Marshal's report didn't mention you had hearing problems. Are you, or are you not, the new deputy? We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. At least you've got a little backbone. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. I'm at a critical point in my investigation, and frankly, your presence here is an unwelcome complication. Now let's just get this over with. She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. Follow me. It can get rowdy in here she sometimes. Said you'd be alone. We try to keep things yeah. civil. Yeah. Well, things changed. Take a seat. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Wait. Autumn has friends. Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Hmm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco? Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. 
You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. The Red Mile is incredibly dangerous. I just don't want to see you take a risk like that. Someone who volunteers to run the Red Mile. A deadly stretch of terrain just outside the cantina. It's infested with hostile creatures and few people survive. The ones that do earn a reputation. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy, because this is life and death we're talking about. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Excuse me. Runners come and go, but the mile usually wins. <clears throat> Any vacancies on your crew? I'm not asking for... Hey. It's a pleasure to have you. Thinking I should run with almost got a death wish. Why not make a few credits off? <laughs> you would have this place used to be a real dive, but things are looking up. I can't wait for the next run. It's gonna be one of I took this job. <laughs> Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. A new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Oh? Let's rectify that then, shall we? You will not find a more exciting blood sport in all the settled systems. The Red Mile is an exciting and deadly race to the finish for the galaxy's bravest champions. Those that manage to complete the course win fame and fortune. Those that don't are never heard from again. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. Like the stars are smiling. Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator sport, after all. Most people don't complete the course, so this is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off 
while they can still appreciate it. Of course! And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. There must be a lot of thirsty celebrities out there. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from our patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Go now, brother, and see if you can 